All right, so now it's time for us to face the TOEFL. First of all, what does it stand for? The TOEFL stands for Test of English as a Foreign Language, and it is an American test designed and developed by the ETS, and there are two types of TOEFL. We've got the TOEFL IBT, that is internet-based, and also TOEFL PBT, that is paper-based. Uh, but we're not going to focus on this one, the paper-based one, because it's being phased out. It's only for places in which we still do not have the, the IBT version, right? So, the TOEFL, it is accepted by thousands of colleges in more than 130 countries, including Australia, Canada, the UK, and mainly in the US, once it's an American exam, right? Uh, for students who want to apply for Science Without Borders, uh, Ciencias in Fronteiras program, uh, TOEFL scores are usually required. Um, a great thing about the TOEFL is that it is offered more than 50 times a year um, at authorized centers throughout the world. Just for you to have an idea, here in Sao Paulo, uh, from October up to December, we still have uh, the TOEFL being held 12 times more. And what about the scores? Uh, do I pass? Do I fail? Uh, there is no passing uh, nor failing uh, in the TOEFL. The TOEFL measures your ability in English and gives you a score. And then it's up to the agencies and universities to set the scores they want. So it's up to you to check the score required by the institution you want to present your TOEFL to. Well, let's check now the different sections that we have. How many sections are there in the TOEFL? There are four different section, sections, which are reading, listening, speaking, and writing. However, the skills are mingled. They're mixed. For example, uh, for the listening section, there is a part in which you have to read a passage, then listen to a talk, and based on these two um, pieces of information you have, you have to answer the questions. So, if you wish to have satisfactory results in the TOEFL, do understand what the test is about and what it demands from you in each of the sections. Unfortunately, and I'm really sorry about that, I, I won't be able to explain all the sections uh, of the TOEFL because of time constraints. Uh, but you have all the info you need on the official website and you also have sample tests which you can uh, practice uh, the, the, the TOEFL. Now, let's consider the scores. The scores varies from 0 to 120 points. And the scores, uh, the scores is equally divided uh, by the sections. So, as there are four sections for each one, you can have from 0 to 30 points. Uh, but how much do I need? I'm giving you an example, just for you to have an idea, for you to take part in Ciencias in Fronteiras, Science Without Borders. Um, your score should be 61 or higher. And one of the advantages of the TOEFL is that you can try it as many times as you need, you just have to respect a period of 12 days between a test and another. However, uh, the TOEFL scores are valid for only two years. Okay, and concerning costs, how much do I have to pay? Nowadays, the TOEFL costs 215 American dollars, and then converting that into reais, it's around 830 reais. So be sure uh, you are ready to take the TOEFL. I strongly believe you don't want uh, to take this risk and to, to waste 830 reais just to give it a try and study and study hard for the TOEFL. <clears throat>